says come in, gate is open. wondered and that photo was made right here to the right behind Elvis's bedroom Vernon is in the bathroom I want for putting it back like it was This would have been Elvis's bathroom famous fireplace. Hey. So that opening that you see to the right of the fireplace, you can see in this photograph and the next photograph was a wall. There's Gladys right there sitting right by the fireplace. You see the fireplace opening to her right. There's the wall. There's a window. Now it has been opened way up and the, and the house added on to. So this addition, I, it, I found things saying that maybe Elvis added it. I'm not 100% sure. This is the way it looked when the house was built. You could see that they have the patio back here and those windows and that kind of stuff. And there's Elvis and Vernon. And uh, I guess that's Gladys with her back to us. Maybe I don't, In fact, I don't think that is Gladys. Of course, uh, Elvis and Red uh, boxing back there on the back patio. But I do believe that it was expanded out during Elvis's time. So where they're sitting right here is actually inside the room now. And the room was made past the edge of this. No. Mm -mm. This house is bigger than you think it is. So I found this drawing right here. And if this drawing is actually correct then the kitchen that you see on the lower left corner is has been modified where you see the stove where you see the burners on the stove the wall is actually open and where you see the laundry on the left of that it has been modified and the wall has been moved in some to i guess make the space larger between there and the family room i would assume that this is relatively accurate so that part has definitely been modified based on this drawing. And I'm sure the kitchen had to be larger than it is now. The wall that you're gonna see when the frame goes back to motion through the opening is about where this red line is now and it definitely was not there at that time. So I feel like this has been modified. We're going in the garage and you can see from this early photo that the garage was a carport. This is another early photo and you see there's actually a grill out there. And then this is Gladys and Vernon. This is very early on and the carport was closed in by then. You can see some of the fire damage still. The college, Rhodes College. Rhodes College. 
And see, they're making this door bigger. You can see it was originally just that size. So you can see from this photo, that is the door that I'm talking about right there. It was much smaller. And they're producing shows and playing music in this house now, so I assume they made this bigger to be able to load equipment in and out easier. So it's still in decent shape. It's not all the pieces. Hey, buddy, how are you? So this right here would have been Vernon and Gladys's bedroom. And you can see that there's a closet here. And then there's a way to go through that I assume probably was not there. I think that may have been another closet. Who knows? This thing has changed a lot. You can see the master bedroom on the top right. And you see it shows a bath in the corner. Then it shows a closet. So what we're seeing, I don't think they put, are putting the bath back. So the bath has become a closet on the other side, on the den side, and then the closet's been split up as a closet and then a walkthrough uh, back to the den part right there. So we're going to head on out back. That building that is out there was there when Elvis was there, but you can see it was a garage and the pool was not there during this photo. They added the pool and it is the largest private pool in the Memphis area. Pretty cool place. See this swimming pool. This is the outline of it, but they just tiled it in. Really? This is the pool house or the garage in the back. Well, I always wondered what it looked like. I have never seen anybody here even once. And of course they added the fence, but look at this uh, brick uh, thing right here. I believe that is the basis for the original fence. So they started there and worked their way to the right. And this is before they added the top part. And of course, after they added the top part, then they had to add barbed wire and those little sharp things. You'll see those things coming up. A lot of work to keep folks out, friends.
and that was Elvis's bedroom here. Well, Ted, I've just seen something I've never seen before. What's that? This house. I've never been inside this house. Kitchen. Imagine Gladys looking out that window, worried about her boy. and dryer. This is the back side, so I would assume dining room, living room. All right, so this is a picture of the living room, but behind where I'm standing now. And you can see how dark the wood is in the room, but you can also see the refrigerator right there. So the kitchen was wider as I thought, as I suspected and mentioned earlier in the story. So it turns out that that drawing is correct the way the kitchen was set up. And you see the high ceilings in here. I wouldn't have thought that it would be like that. You can see that's the foyer. That's the front door. You go through that hall, turn to the right. Elvis's bedroom is in the front. The refrigerator would have been right there based off of that photograph. So that wall would not have been there. And the laundry room would have been there, but the wall would have not have been. Then this would have been a wall right here originally. And then the little room with the glass that you saw them sitting in front of would have been right here. And there would have been another wall with all that glass in it. And then the, the patio part where Elvis was sitting with the brick and stuff or the tile is out there. And you can see this thing had carpet in this room. What I was just pointing out just then is the tack strip. And, of course, this house was not sheetrock like this. It was wood. So the fire destroyed all that. I'm a little disappointed that they're not putting the house back like it was, at least the, the layout the way it was. Uh, for historical purposes. So I'm really not sure of the whole layout of the house, friends, but that gives you an idea. But if you come through here, closet there, hallway, bathroom, Elvis's bedroom. Yep, this happened right there. And there's a closet there. So there you go. So imagine Elvis looking out these windows at the fans waking up each morning and going, wow. This little nook is right there where this door is as I make the turn. So I wanted to experience what Elvis would have felt coming out of his bedroom, going out the front door looking out at the fence and walking out to see fans and sign autographs. This was early in his career. At this house, friends, he made his first movie. He made uh, his first television appearances. He became rich and famous at this house. So you know that it was a more innocent time for him, and he wondered if it was all just a dream. He would come here. It is a picture of him jumping over this. He come here, see the fans, sign autographs. This is it. Right here. So finally, over the fence. Now 
Yeah, put that back down in there. No, through the hole. Mm -mm. Through this hole. There you go. Oh, one time he was out here with Nick Adams and they were wanting to go somewhere and there were so many fans. Elvis pulled a pocket comb out of his pocket, threw it over in a part of the yard and the people just, is like piranhas going after a piece of mate and then him and Nick took off. <laughs> it was a decoy. That's funny. Well, it happened today, friends. I finally got to go in Audubon, so now you see what it looks like today. New floors, new sheetrock, coming along nicely. We tightened up and got in.